In this video we're going to be taking a look at Ajax form that will be triggering some JavaScript. We're going to have a simple module with Ajax form accessible under a certain root and we're going to declare a library with JavaScript asset and a callback from this JavaScript file will be triggered as we submit the form. So let's jump to our browser and here we have a Drupal 8 module that we created in another video. I will post the link to that video in the description below and I will post also a link to this GitHub repo in the description below. So this module basically creates a Ajax form and a root so that it's accessible under a certain path. So let's go ahead and download this module. We're going to click download zip and we're going to download it in our code base modules custom and just save it there. And we're going to unzip it. And as we jump to our Drupal instance, if we go under extend, but first let's go ahead and rename it. It is called Ajax form submit master. Master is basically the branch name from GitHub. So we'll just call it Ajax form submit. And as we search here, Ajax, there it is. So let's go ahead and install it. That's perfect. It was successfully installed. And as we jump to our code base, and if we check the dot routing YAML file, we see for path where the form is accessible. So we're going to just open this path and we're going to see the example form, of course. It has two fields with number one and number two and it's just combining the numbers. That's perfect. So let's go ahead and now convert it into a form with one text field which is going to be a cat name and as we click here it is going to lock stuff into our browser console here under console. So let's go ahead and edit a bit the SRC form Ajax submit demo and let's get rid of the second text field and let's get rid also of the message at the very top and let's name this cat name and let's see cat name and under action buttons let's say lock lock cat and the callback will be called lock something and we're going to basically reuse the set message but we're going to call it lock something and here we're not going to use the HTML command so we're going to remove that and instead of HTML command we're going to basically be using invoke command so let's jump to api.drupal.org and search for invoke command exactly and so we are supposed to include Drupal core Ajax invoke command at the very top use Drupal core Ajax invoke command and we're going to be creating here a new invoke command and what the invoke command 
expects it basically expects first selector then method and then array of arguments selector we're going to skip so we're going to say null and then method we're going to say loggy we're going to declare that a bit later so let's just go ahead and say loggy and then we're going to pass some arguments as array so we're going to say form state get value and just say cat name that's perfect the next thing we want to do is we want to create actually our logi function and we're going to create it in a file called js and js or just logi js and in logi js we're going to declare the logi function so just like this uh, j j query and we're seeing here function and just say fn logi is going to be a function that expects data here as arguments and is going to be doing console log data basically it's going to be logging into the browser console everything that it receives that's perfect the next thing we want to do is we want to create a library file so let's create a new file called the name of our module dot libraries dot yaml sorry libraries yaml and here we're going to start with the name of our module so ajax form submit and we're going to say loggy as for loggy we're going to declare just a javascript file which is going to be the one that we have here so js and then loggy.js and that's all the last thing we have to do is we have to include this library in the form here so we can do it just by saying form and then attachments so like this uh, I mean attached attached and then library and then we're saying Ajax form submit slash and the bit that we wrote here basically or we could have just left it like this just loggy that's good enough and if we go ahead and switch to our Drupal instance and if we clear the cache let's see what will happen so we basically transformed our form so let's debug it a bit so the routing is fine the libraries yaml has logi and here in the form we were supposed to just close it here correctly and 
I'm pretty sure that's all we had to do and if we refresh That's perfect. So we have our Ajax form here and if we open the browser console and if we write the cat name here, let's write the name of my cat Mira. So if we look, oh cool, our cat is being clocked here. Let's write the name of a cat I had before, Sarah. Perfect. So it works. Cool. If you like this video, please check the links in the description below. Comment. If you have any questions, subscribe, like the video and thanks for watching.